Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is Marty McFly and I'm coming to you with another video and it's going to be a very quick video guys. I'm going to try to make this as quickly as possible because you guys have already seen thousands of videos of this so I'm not going to come and spend too much of your time right now so I'm going to very quickly get into it. <clears throat> and you guys can see today we're going to be talking about Air Jordan 5, Air Jordan 5 box. Uh, you can see right there the color code and everything. These are definitely a nice pair of shoes right here. So these are the Jordan 5's uh, top five, I mean top three. Let me just take these out right quick. <clears throat> I'm only gonna take one out because it's not necessary for taking two out. So today I'm just gonna give you my thoughts of the Air Jordan 5 top threes. And it's gonna be very brief because like I said, there's already thousands of reviews on it on YouTube already. And so there's really no need for me to go over the details and tell you guys, oh, look, here's this and that. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a brief look. A brief look as you guys can see in my gear. I'm just gonna give you a very brief, a very brief look. As you can see there, the Grape Jordan tongue, the bottoms. So yeah, guys. Oh, so as you guys know, uh, Jordan Bryan decided to surprise us this year with a uh, top three five. And honestly, <clears throat> I don't know why they gave us a top three five. I personally would prefer it if they would have given us uh, a what the Jordan five, because I think that I know that these are very famous because they're the OGs, and so they weren't able to they weren't able to give us like you know, you know uh, more colorways if you're talking about the top three because. Obviously, as far as the OG cutaways go for the Jordan 5s, they only have four, which is the two fire red cutaways, the black metallics, and the grapes. Personally, my favorite are the grapes because I think the grapes are just the greatest cutaway ever on the Jordan 5. I think nothing beats it. But of course, you know, that's my opinion. You know, anybody else would probably would feel different. You know, there's a lot of people that I would understand why they would prefer the black metallics or either fire reds. But whatever. That being said, when uh, Jordan Brand actually came out with the images of how these were going to look, the first renders of this shoe, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I wasn't really a fan of it at first. Like, I was like, okay, it looks it looks like it's going the right direction. But once pictures of these came out and videos came out about these, that's when I got hyped because <clears throat> I thought the execution was nice. And it was funny because a lot of people actually had a lot of hate toward the shoe. I never hated the shoe. I never thought they were ugly, but I just wasn't sure of it and I wasn't sold on it on the first uh, renders of it. So that being said, you know, once the actual um, images came out of the actual shoes, that's when I really thought that like, okay, Jordan, Jordan Brand has something cooking right now, you know, and now that they're actually, you know, in hand, um, man, these, these are definitely a, 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 a really good pair of shoes. I wouldn't say they're, they're great, but they're really good, you know, um, and so the reason why I say that, I don't know why Jordan Brand gave us a top three instead of what the theme because I think just as popular as these colorways are, I believe that the Laney colorways are just as popular. Matter of fact, I, I personally would have the Laney's over over any of the Fire Reds. And, and I know it's crazy because usually I, I, I love red. So I would have number one, the, the Grapes. That's my favorite colorway, like I said. Number two, I would have the Laney's as my top, uh, you know, if I had a top five pecking order of, of, of Jordan 5s. And then number three, uh, I think it would be the black tongue uh, fire red fives and then everything else can you know go into order But so that's why I would prefer it if Jordan brand decided to do a a, a, a What the theme instead of a, a top three because I love this this tongue The the grape tongue and not just because of the colorway But because of the material the little soft material and I and, and if you guys don't know the the Laney's are actually made of the same material So that's why I would have preferred if Jordan Brand made a, sh a pair with the grape tongue and then the other pair with the Laney tongue. It would have been so dope. And then if they would have made the other pair with the accents with the Laney, if they would have just kept it like this with this shoe and then the other shoe had different colors, I, I think it would have been cooler. Like, I think it would have been so dope if, if the other one had the Laney tongue and then had Laney touches here and there, you know. <clears throat> but, yeah, you know, I, I still think the execution on these are really good. Um, Again... Man, Jordan Brand is really hitting us with the fives this year. And I personally think that every single five so far, sorry guys, I think so far every Jordan five that has come out um, and that is, will come out is going to be crazy. Like, you already know the fire reds are, are, are instant classics. So to me, those are a no-brainer. Those to me were instant cop. 
These to me were an instant cop. I, to me, again, this was a no brainer. I thought this was worthy of cop. Then they have the Oregon's coming out. I'm definitely gonna buy those. And then they have the white uh, Fresh Prince, which a lot of people are not liking, but I like them. I actually think they look better than the OG Fresh Prince, and that's just my opinion. I think the white base with the white leather looks better than the gray. Um, I forgot what material it was, but it was like almost like a like a rough, rugged like mesh type material. So. I don't know. I just personally think that every Jordan 5 that the that, that Jordan brand is dropping this year is a hit. Like, I think none, none of them are misses. I thought that the the, the Fresh Prince were probably going to be a miss because people were saying in the, in the renders when they first had the pictures of the unofficial pictures of the of the shoes, they were saying that it was probably going to be like a, a white suede. I was like, if that shoe's a white suede, those are getting destroyed. So I, I actually was not really excited to, um, you know, to have those, but... Once I saw the, the images that they had actually white leather, that's when I got excited. And so I, I just think every Jordan 5 this year is coming with the heat. And these are are are, are definitely are, are definitely there, you know. And <clears throat> you know, and, and there's really nothing nothing crazy about the shoe. The only one thing I do have a problem with these about is this material that they gave us. Um for you guys that don't know, this is actually a Dura book, but what I don't like about it is that it feels like the same throw book that they gave us on the Jordan um, 6 DMPs. Yo, so guys, <clears throat> so these are the, the Jordan 6 DMPs that came out this year. And the same material that is on, on these are actually on the fives. And for those, for those of you that don't know, like I, I've only worn these one time. You can't see it on the camera. Maybe you can a little bit. I'm sorry. You're not going to be able to see it. Maybe a little bit right there. But man, as soon as I put these shoes on, man, they had like this huge crease right here, like mad big. And I know shoes crease, but like the crease is so big and it's so like indented that like it just looks horrible. And like right here, there's another huge crease right there. But I don't know. I just didn't like the materials on the on the DMPs this year. Like the the it's nice and soft, but like the it's like the pliability of it is just too soft. Like like I don't know. I just personally don't like this Dur Durabook that Jordan Brand is using now. It's just too soft, like way too soft. Like it's almost, it almost feels like a cheap fake material. So that being said, you know, that's my only gripe with, with these shoes. You know, that's my only gripe. Other than that, I don't really have like a really, I don't have a complaint about these. These to me, like I said, I think they're dope. Um, they probably won't get a lot of wears because Jordan 5 to me a little uh, heavy. Um, but I, I definitely love to, I definitely love that I was able to put them in the collection because these are definitely dope. But yeah, guys, that's definitely the video, and, and that's pretty much it. I'm not really going to get too much into it, you know, guys. You, you've already seen like a thousand reviews about these. So I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. And again, I just wanted to say that this is Marty McFly. Thank you for watching the video again, guys. Have a good one, and peace.